Interpersonal relationships are an essential aspect of human life, impacting our overall well-being and happiness. The way we interact with others is influenced by a variety of factors, including our cognitive disposition, communication disposition, and relational disposition. Firstly, cognitive disposition plays a crucial role in shaping our interpersonal relationships. Our cognitive disposition refers to our mental attitude or mindset towards others. People with a positive cognitive disposition tend to view others in a favorable light and believe in the good intentions. This positive mindset fosters trust, respect, and empathy, thereby enhancing the quality of relationships. On the other hand, individuals with a negative cognitive disposition may be more prone to suspicion, mistrust, and conflict, leading to strained relationships. Therefore, our cognitive disposition sets the tone for how we perceive and interact with others. Secondly, communication disposition and approach greatly influence our interpersonal relationships. Communication disposition refers to our overall attitude towards communication. People with a positive communication disposition are more likely to engage in open and effective communication. They are willing to express their thoughts and feelings, actively listen to others, and find common ground. Such individuals promote healthy and constructive communication patterns, leading to stronger and more fulfilling relationships. On the contrary, individuals with negative communication dispositions may be hesitant to communicate or engage in manipulative communication tactics. This can hinder the development of meaningful connections and create misunderstandings. Moreover, our approach to communication further shapes our interpersonal relationships. Approach communication refers to a cooperative and accommodating style, where individuals focus on finding mutual solutions and establishing a sense of fairness. Such an approach cultivates cooperation, compromise, and understanding. It helps resolve conflicts effectively and maintain harmonious relationships. Conversely, avoidance communication involves evading or ignoring issues, suppressing emotions, or withdrawing from communication altogether. This approach hampers problem-solving, creates tension, and can damage relationships in the long run. Additionally, verbal aggression, such as insults, yelling, or hostile language, erodes trust, and exacerbates conflict, straining interpersonal relationships. Lastly, our relational disposition, which includes attachment and rejection, shapes our interpersonal relationships. Attachment refers to the emotional bond between individuals, while rejection encompasses feelings of exclusion or disapproval. Our early attachment experiences with caregivers influence how we form and maintain relationships throughout our lives. Securely attached individuals tend to have trusting, supportive, and fulfilling relationships. They find it easier to form deep connections and rely on others for support. In contrast, individuals with insecure attachments may struggle with trust, experience difficulties in forming intimate relationships, or exhibit avoidant or anxious behaviors. Moreover, experiencing rejection can have a profound impact on interpersonal relationships. Those who have experienced rejection may develop feelings of worthlessness, fear of abandonment, or difficulty trusting others. These feelings can manifest in defensive behaviors, emotional distancing, or difficulty forming close connections. In conclusion, cognitive disposition, communication disposition, and relational disposition all have a significant impact on our interpersonal relationships. Developing a positive cognitive disposition helps foster trust and empathy, while a negative mindset can lead to conflicts and strained relationships. Having a positive communication disposition and adopting an approach that focuses on cooperation and understanding enhances the quality of interactions, while negative communication habits like avoidance or verbal aggression can create tension and hinder relationship development. Finally, attachment and rejection experiences shape our ability to form and maintain meaningful connections with others. Understanding these influences allows individuals to reflect on their own behaviors and work towards establishing healthy, fulfilling relationships.